Hey everybody, welcome back to Tim's Tech Thoughts. I'm Tim Smith, at tsmith underscore co on Twitter. Today I'm at HPE Discover 2018 in Las Vegas, Nevada. Last year I was here as well and I did a video on the machine and HPE's Synergy, so be sure to watch that. I've got links below. But today I wanted to talk about some Beam architecture with HPE uh, in your data center. So what would that look like and what type of products would you potentially have in an all HPE data center uh, for a great Veeam implementation. So I'm going to assume that we've got a vSphere environment and let's say we've got some HPE uh, DL380s running our compute there. Um, a handful of them, doesn't matter how many, but uh, that's going to run our compute. And we've got that attached to either a nimble uh, array or a three-part array. And the reason I'm choosing those two arrays are because Veeam has some special integrations with those arrays. Well, what are those special integrations? Well, first is snapshot orchestration. So not only can we go ahead and tell those arrays to take a snapshot, uh, on the nimble array, let's say, we can go ahead and take a snapshot every hour, every 15 minutes, uh, but we can also tell it to replicate those snapshots to a secondary nimble array. Well, why do we want to do snapshots on array? Because snapshots aren't backups, right? Well, the reason is, is because if we're only doing our backups maybe two times a day or once a day, if somebody comes in, creates a file, works all day on that file, and then loses that file, there's no backup that was run. But if we're taking snapshots every 15 minutes or every hour on our array, we can still restore that file. I'll talk a little bit about that in a second. So replicating snapshots, so we can replicate those uh, those LUNs over to a secondary nimble array. Then what we can do is back up from those snapshots. So Veeam, we can back up the original data uh, directly from the primary LUN, or we can take a SAN snapshot and back up our data from that SAN snapshot. Well, what that means is our virtual machines are no longer sitting on that VMDK uh, in that VMDK snapshot for that long time. Instead, we'll take a VMware snapshot then we'll tell the nimble array to take a snapshot of that LUN. We'll go ahead and commit the VMware snapshot. So the virtual machines were running maybe three minutes on a virtual machine snapshot. And now we're grabbing all of our backup data from that SAN snapshot. So we, don't, we no longer have uh, that impact on those virtual machines during backup, uh, depending on the performance of your array. What we can also do is backup from that replicated snapshot. So we can tell the nimble array, go ahead and back, or take a snapshot replicate that snapshot to your secondary array. Now I'm going to back up my data from that secondary array. And what that does is it allows me to have zero impact on my production array. So there you've got uh, backup from SAM snapshot. You've got replicas that you can back up from. And you've got that snapshot orchestration uh, for a lower RPO of lost files. Um, but we can also restore without doing a backup, we can restore applications and application level items from those backups, or from those snapshots, and from the replica snapshots. So it gives you a lot of flexibility on your restores. So that's, we've got our compute now with our 380s. We've got our storage, we're gonna say on a nimble array or a three-part array. Uh, what's next? So we need a backup repository for our Veeam environment. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is choose an, uh, an HPE Apollo 4000 series server. The nice thing about that server is it's very uh, storage dense. You can get 56 disks inside of that server and up to 44 cores of CPU power. So this is gonna be perfect. Uh, we'll throw in a fiber channel HBA, attach it to our, our storage network that our Nimbler 3 par is connected to. And this is gonna serve as our backup proxy and our backup repository. Next is our long-term retention, and that I chose an HPE Store Once appliance. So the HPE Store Once is a deduplication device. Uh, you can get in multiple different sizes for capacities, but essentially um, what we're going to do is leverage their Catalyst integration. So when we go ahead and add this as a backup repository inside of Veeam, we'll choose specifically an integrated dedupe device, choose the Store Once, and we're going to go ahead and set up this Catalyst integration. What that does is allows us to be aware of the deduplication that's already there. So instead of sending all of our data to be deduped uh, ac across the network and then deduped, what we end up doing is, is we're aware of the blocks that are there, we can update the metadata, and only send unique data across. 
And then that also helps during synthetic operations uh, where we're not pulling back, rehydrating all that data across. Uh, we can go ahead and just uh, do the catalyst commands to have that synthetic operation done completely on the store once without pulling data back and forth across the network. So there we have it. We have our compute with the 380s. We have our storage using a three-part nimble arrays. And then we have our HPE Apollo 4000 series server for our primary backup repository, uh, most likely running REFS so we can get uh, the uh, better integration and better performance out of that new file system uh, using like fast clone technologies uh, and using that uh, API that Microsoft has exposed to us. And then we've got our store once appliance for our long-term retention or our archive retention. So what is this going to look like? Well, what we're going to do is take our VMware level snapshot of our virtual machines. Then we're going to go ahead and instruct the Nimble Array to take a SAN level snapshot. At this point, we can delete our VMware snapshots so the virtual machines are no longer uh, running on a .0001 VMDK file. And we're going to pull all of, our, all of our backup bits from that SAN snapshot from the Nimble Array. We're going to send it over our storage network, Fiber Channel or iSCSI, all the way up to the uh, HPE Apollo 4000 series server. And that's going to be sitting then on our REFS repository. So at that point, we've got our primary backup, and this is going to be maybe uh, one or two weeks worth. This is where we're going to want our data uh, to be fast, right? So if we need to do an instant VM recovery, it's going to be running from these 56 spindles. We're going to some, get some fast uh, uh, response time. Uh, fast restores, fast application level recovery restores as well. After that two weeks of, uh, of sitting in the repository, we'll have a backup copy job set up where that uh, backups then will be offloaded onto our store once appliance where they can sit for a long-term retention. So maybe we have a policy of six months, nine months, one year retention, or better yet, we'll set up a grandfather, father, son, a GFS policy in Beam where we can say, you know, I need to keep 30 days of restore points, and then I want to go ahead and keep, uh, let's say, 12 monthlies, and then three yearlies after that for extra long-term retention. This is great on the store once because it's an awesome deduplication device. So we've got a lot of the same data for all of that, so it's really going to crunch those numbers down. And if we need to restore for some reason, at that point, we don't care if it's going to be a little slower than restoring from, let's say, the HPE Apollo server. Um, because at that point, we're, we're outside of our, our um, uh, let's say, our RTOs that we've set for our applications. Maybe we're restoring for compliance reasons or auditing reasons. So that's just kind of a brief overview of uh, what some Veeam architecture would look like in an all HPE environment. Uh, so be sure to uh, click subscribe below. Let me know what you think. And uh, stay tuned for the next videos.